Hi, it's Brendan here, and I've been talking to you recently about ways you can make an instant impact in your training and in your coaching and in the programs that you deliver. And what I want to mention today is really this concept of overcomplicating things. And I'm not sure why this exists. I think it's, it's because a lot of the time we want to look intelligent and it's an ego boost for us, maybe. But what we need to do is simplify things. And it's not rocket science what we're doing here. All right, so here's a few things that I think we can instantly simplify uh, and transfer that into our own methods and the, the messages that we're giving to our clients so they have better purpose and understanding and get better results out of it themselves. So number one is, if you want to get strong, you've just got to lift heavy regularly. You've got to do the minimum it takes to get stronger on a, on a very regular basis and, in, and work with intensity so above 85% relative to what you can do on a regular basis. Lift well with great technique. Do the minimum that it takes for you to get stronger. Don't jump from three sets to six sets. Or don't jump from sets of three sets of five to, to six sets of one. That's just too much of an intensity jump or too much of a volume jump. That's real simple. Pick stuff up that's heavy, put it down again. Do it regularly. Do it smartly, don't do too much. That's it. Second thing, flexibility. What shapes do you need to make for your sport? Okay, if you need to be able to get your foot above your head for like a kickboxer or a gymnast, then you need to stretch in that area. If you don't, if rugby player, for, if you're a rugby player, for example, the chances of you needing that is nearly zero. It's minute. So why would you spend time doing that in the training? So think about what shapes your sport makes and then stretch those shapes and give people a surplus of flexibility. Okay, whatever sport it is, you've got to take the time to analyse what that individual needs. And if it's a general public client, then again, it's the same thing. What do they need in their life? Is it a manual job? Is it a sedentary job? And are they looking to run a triathlon? Or do they want to be a Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist? Very different flexibility requirements, but the key thing to simplify is what shapes do you need to make for your activity? So that's the second thing. The third thing is your endurance requirements. Okay, what, and my, my key message here is train what you see. Train what you see in the sport. If they're running long, slow distance, they might need to prepare like that. But most team sports do not run in that way. So train what you see. It doesn't matter if the, there's some kind of crazy journal or there's some guru out there telling you that they've got to run at 65% heart rate for this many hours and this and this and this. It's not, it's, let's keep it simple. Train what you see at the speeds that you see it occurring and faster. That's what we call game speed, preparing people for game speed. And if you create scenarios in your training sessions and your coaching sessions that replicate the game and the game speed and the work to rest intervals, you're going to do well. And you always want to have a surplus in there. Okay, so if it's, if, they, if, if it's a mixed martial artist and it's a five minute round, then you might prepare them for five and a half or six minutes. If their work to rest ratio is generally three to one, then you might want to come down to two to one in your preparation and have them feel that. If they're a rugby league player and they cover eight kilometres, maybe more in a game, then you might need to touch 10 kilometres over the same period of time bef before they have you, you unleash them. Uh, and it's the same for every single sport. If they're running at 10 metres or nine metres per second, uh, then you might want to try and increase their max speed to nine and a half metres per, per, per second so they have that extra impact. Train what you see at the speed you see it occurring, guys, and keep it simple. So that's three ways instantly that you can do that. Thanks for listening, and I'll be back really soon with more ways you can make an instant impact in your training programs. Thanks, guys.